Welcome to my video on how to use a snake or an auger to un, uh, unplug your tub or your sink, but we're gonna, I'm gonna show you using the tub here in my bathroom. Now, in the past, you know, I've always used liquid drain cleaner or drain or something like that. You know, it's got chemicals in it, so it's probably not great for the environment. And I've found it never really works. And you just kind of wasted that money on the, uh, on the cost of that fluid. When the, when, one time the plumber was over and um, he used a drum auger and I figured, well, I could just do that myself. So I went down to, I think it was uh, Lowe's or maybe the Home Depot, but and I bought a drum auger. And it's basically, you know, a lot of people call it a snake and it's this device and it's got a long wire, long cable on it. And this is uh, 20 feet and it was only about $25. And this one, uh, some, some of them have a connection in the middle to attach a electric drill, but I don't think that's really necessary, um, at least for my purposes. And it looked, that little attachment got in the way um, for manual use, so I went for the manual only. But it's got this 20-foot cable inside that lets you snake on down the drain and um, unblock your, your pipes. And you can see the end has this little, this little windy thing to catch any hair. So what I'm going to do is show the whole process of unplugging uh, my, my tub. And you can, you know, I can tell it's plugged up when I'm standing in water and it's just not draining anymore. So let's go ahead and unplug this tub. Okay, here's my tub. And it does have the, the outlet on the bottom. And even with my, my strainer, it doesn't really keep out all the hair and everything. And we don't actually want to go down this hole. Um, if possible, we want to go down this hole. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and unscrew that. I'm going to put this down here so the bolts don't actually go down the drain, which would be really bad. So let me go ahead and take these out. So here I've taken out the little stopper which no longer works so it's kind of old and yeah there's probably some pipes down there and now we can uh, go ahead and start using the drum auger all right so basically what you want to do is as you feed this in you see that the, it's got this little catch here which can lock it in place and then this thing won't move but if it's forward it will move in and out so the, the whole process, and, it, and what, the way this works is you've got this little rotator on the end and you can rotate the wire and this helps it navigate the corners. So that's, that's what's going on here. So what you want to do is you start feeding this thing in, make sure it goes the right direction and then um, unlock this and just slowly feed out a little bit at a time. And then once you hit something, just keep on going. So I just hit something right there, and I'm going to lock this, and I'm going to take and start rotating this thing, and because I think this is like the very first elbow joint, so I might even angle it down a little bit and make it easier, and I kind of push it through. And what people do is they, if you roll this, it'll start catching the hair. Now, I'm going to unlock it again. I'm going to pull this out a little bit. And now, if I lock it again, I can rotate it and start pushing it in. And you'll, the only real trick is that when you, you don't want to have like this much wire before you start pushing because you won't get any leverage pushing it in. So just, I don't know, a little bit. And then you'll start rotating down. And I'm just very, very careful. I'm sure professional plumbers would go much faster, but I'm more interested in taking my time and making sure I don't do anything bad. So once you've gone down a ways, you can start pulling it back up. This is a 20 foot cable, so we can actually go down there, you know, 15 feet you know, way into the house. And, you know, so you want to make sure you go um, at least as far as the block. As I pull this thing out, I have my paper towels and I just kind of clean, clean it out. And I could even like feed it back in 
if I want. And so I, I go in here and I start. So there's some, there's some soap, soap scuds. So we'll get rid of that. There's more soap scuds. And it's going to be the hair that's really plugging everything up. But there we go. I'm just getting all the, the stuff. And when I pull this out, so I've got a little bit of hair already. It doesn't take too much hair to start plugging things up. And I just go and I and I pull off the hair. And it's kind of screwed on there because of the way the screwing mechanism works. It's a kind of a dirty job. But it's great when everything is uh, is working. I'm going to do the rest of this kind of like this. I'll, I'll be pushing this wire down all the way and then uh, pull it back up. And at that point, it should be completely, completely clean. It was really scary the first time I did this, but because I didn't want it to get stuck since I'm not a real plumber. But since I saw the actual real plumber do it and it didn't really look that hard, and it, and it really isn't. I'm just very careful and I haven't had any problems. So it's not, it's not really that hard to push the cable down there. It's pretty easy. And there you go, that's it. Alrighty. All right, now we're pulling out some stuff. Oh my gosh, see? See, this is why, this is why the auger is good. Completely gross, but that's um, that's what it's supposed to do. The auger doing its job. I mean, there's and you can see how st stuck it is. There's just no way that your um, liquid cleaner is going to disintegrate that. You really need this. So and I might just have to keep pulling that out until I can pull it off the end. And there's a little more. So it just occurred to me that this would be way less disgusting if I wore uh, rubber gloves. So in retrospect, wear rubber gloves. Thanks. This is kind of a messy job, so yeah, be careful.